really want to go in this Walmart, but man, has some baked food. So we're going to go in here and see what they got. Well, they've got the shipper here for WrestleMania, but it looks like it's already been picked over. All the good stuff that's gone. I do have, we seen this guy the other day here, the dark side of Hulkamania Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Got a couple of those. None of the Undertaker, no Stone Cold or Scott Hall. Cody Rhodes here's the top picks. And then no Paul Bear. Still cool to see this thing though. Hope to find out some more places here for too long. But like I said, let's get down to regular toy aisle. And let's see what they got down there. Oh, I'm getting beat up again. Had to cut it short on the action figure aisles. People came down. We'll take a look here real quick. Thunder tanks. We got a pink Batmobile. We got a pink Corvette. But no Batmobile, sadly. Man, look at all the M2s tacked back in here. They got a bunch. Non chase fair lady. Somebody told me there was a chase of this thing, but it doesn't have it listed on top of the box. I might go through the off camera. Anything down there, I'll let you guys see it. They got the spider buggy down there. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, a bunch more of those buildable kits up there. Looks like the bug and the van is about it. Monster Jam. We do have some Monster Jams here, but look like Series 32s are winning the day. What is that one? The Rattical Racer. Okay. Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on here. Of course, this is a smaller store. I didn't expect there to be a whole lot of stuff back here. Sometimes little small ones, though, you can stumble on some older finds. I'm kind of glad that, which I am in, in Pennsylvania. I started to say Philadelphia. Pennsylvania is a state. And now we're being attacked with a lightsaber again. <laughs> You need to control your feral child. Someone who didn't want to come in the Walmart store, they're having an awful lot of fun. No new three and three quarter. Older black series. It's Cassian Endo. Uh, Nothing down there. Got some multiverse. What we got? 16 bucks for Donna Troy Titans build a figure. But they don't have any of the Titans build a figures. Here's the black and white black Adam and the colored version. So we got that going on. What we got up here? Frost King Wonder Woman. Frost King Black Adam. I was looking at those in case I didn't have the camera high enough. What do we got? Got a bunch of Infinity Saga here. We got. War Machine, Mark II, Mark 46, Thor, who's this? Banner, Widow, Banner, Cap. Yep, oh, way with those. Uh, Spider Man, older ones. No retro turtles, I got a mutant mayhem. Sludge, Transformers. What is that? Scorpinox. Is that Cocoa Melon? Yeah. Ah, uh, where's some more superpowers? No new ones in here, are there? Green Lantern, Batman Who Laughs, Nightwing, Red Cape Wonder Woman. So still no new superpowers. There's Series 3 Among Us. What are these? No Mario figs here either. If they had any, they clearance them out. They don't have them now. I don't see a place on the shelf for them though. Wrestling. We had the WrestleMania shipper. Doesn't look like we're going to have much else. Oh, take that back. They got Mr. T. Non chase Mr. T. It's kind of cool to find again. I think the non chase looks better than the chase. And the lightsaber has returned again. <laughs> well, I think that's about going to do it, guys. We do see anything up. <laughs> this YouTube, this is what I'm having to travel with. <laughs>
But I do find anything else, guys. I will show it to you. If not, see you at the next one. York, Pennsylvania, and we have found a Ross. So let's head in here and let's see if they got anything different than they have back in Tennessee and Virginia. Well, one thing, we checked it by the register, nothing different, but we have not seen these in storage yet back home. So $7.99, pretty cool to see the mongoose. But let's head back here to the regular toy aisle. Now here's some more stuff. We got the mask, dress, and parts thing there. Back here to the back wall, let's see what they've got. Anime statues, we don't really see. Here is a Fortnite dude for $2.99. Yeah, we got the Funko thing. The Mario Bowser set, that thing's cool. Two of those. I don't know if these two behind me here are plotting, but they look like they're plotting. Oh, they got the big uh, mega fig mirror verse things. Are these are $6.99, they're everywhere else. $4.99, okay. Got me the same price as the spawn. Man, Sully is heavy. Look at Sully. He's armor and ready for battle. Um, we got Kamek here. What we got on the peg wall? Bone shaker, some Fortnite, and some plastic bubbles here. I haven't seen these before. Vendetta. Skull Dripper's kind of cool looking. Trigger fish. Some more Fortnite. Cyclo. And that dude is on $2.99 as well. Yep. Well, I was kind of hoping for some War Machine or some of the other stuff, but unfortunately, kind of the same old stuff I've been seeing. Oh, yeah, Pride of Frankenstein. But if we do see anything else, I will show it. If not, that's it for us. And now we're here at Target in York. We're gonna run in here because we're trying to be quick. Cause if y'all watched my channel before, you know what Target does. It makes Madison boys crazy. Targets, okay? So let's run into Target, see what they got. <laughs> York Target, let's see what we got here. Never been to York, Pennsylvania before. Uh, oh, they got Snarl. Oh, that's pretty cool to see him. And um, Optimus Prime with the two new ones there. Oh man, look at all the Midnighters. They got some Clooney Batman. Are these $14? Build a figure is $14.99. Man, I wonder if I would have known I'd have waited. They got two Cloonies. We would have got them all. Jay Garrick. First time ever seeing her retail. I got to get my McFarlane.com because I could not find her in store to finish that wave. That is cool to see. We got Midnighter, a couple of Hush Superman. Animated Flash, more Hush. Oh, Kelly found a Dark Knight of Steel. <laughs> I got some Animal Man back here. It's marked down to eleven ninety nine. I've never seen that one in a store before. I had to buy mine off. Yeah, it looks like they're all Midnighters. I'll take those in a second. We got Animated Flash. What do we got here? Aquaman, the Stealth Suit. More Animated Flash. I guess they're all eleven ninety nine. I want these gold labels are eleven ninety nine. That says Crusader Batmobile. Okay, another Aquaman, Midnighter, 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 Animal Man. All kinds of gold label. So some good stuff already. Mutt and Junkyard. He's so full price. Yeah, I said it before. The Stranger Things Transformer. They do all kinds of weird conglomerations now. The Hot Wheel guys at Kingsport Target were looking at that to buy it until he saw how much it cost and he put it back. <laughs> it was 45 it weren't on sale that last time I was there. Winston, Ray, and Ray. Got Vipers. Uh, they do have a Trouble Bubble left for $26.99. Uh, what have we got down through here? X-Men 97. That doesn't look like the right one. <laughs> I've got a feeling it's been a fix swap because that's what it should look like. There's squeaking going on behind me. I'm not sure what for. Ooh, Doc Ock. It's got him here. Got Wave Rider. More Flash. Been there. Eat up Multiverse. Oh, X Men 97. Wave 2. The first time I've seen those in a Target store. We found them at GameStop the other day. There's regular Aquaman. Mark 2. 14.99. I like to find the Mark 46. 
think I still need that one. They got Magneto and Cyclops there. We saw, I think I saw both those the other day. Still cool to see them in Target. Now, let's see what we got over here. We got a clearance in calf there we're going to dig through. Uh, Poppy Playtime, Pokemon stuff. Strange human person just ran in front of the camera. <laughs> She's mad at me, everybody. I've been picking on her about, you know, her tendency to try to pick up guys and targets. Uh-oh. I've angered it. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, oh, these are on sale too. Six ninety nine. They got a Koopa Troopa. I might have to grab that for six ninety nine. Plus, we get five more percent off with our Target card. So this has been a pretty good little store. I'm glad we came in here. Mario's down to twenty ninety nine. We just saw that at the uh, Ross for twenty. But yeah, we're gonna get to some more aisles and what we can find. But so far, pretty good store. Let's see what else they got. Eh, clearance in cap was something we haven't seen. Most of the Jurassic Park stuff and a bunch of stuff we didn't really want to look at. But they got a bunch of pops. Right in this section. And then we got a wrestling sale. Man, they're down more, aren't they? They were 19 something the other day. They got a good sale going on in their stuff right now. Jimmy Hart. We got Iron Sheik. Hogan, 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 Hogan. So they don't have Andre. Let's say, nope, a bunch of Hogan's. Um, we got up here Pat McAfee, Trish and the Rock, and that way ever Cena. AEW's got Ray Phoenix, we got Hook, a couple of different Thunder or a couple of Thunder Roses. Series seven, yeah, both of them. And then Pac. That Penta there is nice. And the Penta Obscuro there from the CM Punk Wave. We got our Cooper Trooper we are gonna pick up because it's only seven dollars. Uh, we got some new micro galaxies. Special Forces TIE Fighter, the B-Wing. There's North Vader's TIE Fighter Advance. It's an older one. Series 1 and Series 5. <laughs> we got some Turtles of Grayskull we'll take a look at here in a second. Another rock down there. Sunman 3-pack. That's down to 30 bucks. Too bad they don't have the Hulkamania set. I probably would have picked that up I see it in the store. Is that it right there? Yeah. I don't see one hidden back in there anywhere. Uh, what have we got in Turtles of Grayskull? We got $14.99 on Mouse Jaw right now. Donatello, Man at Arms, and He Man. So we got them all with Leo in the first wave. Uh, there's Ray Filet. Kelly was down here organizing the Turtles a second ago. A Spider Man mask. I think Madison was trying to make her aware that she wouldn't. No, she did. Oh, she did? <laughs> Usual things there, mutating, and then Jurassic Park looks about the same. Now we're going to film the Hot Wheels. If I can get this person punching me, I might have a stomach out of the way. <laughs> mean to me, people, they beat on me. I didn't drag you to Target. You walked in voluntarily. Oh, here we go. <laughs> This is a chase in these things. I have never found a chase. The blue thing on top means chase. The red symbols here mean they're commons. Oh, yes. A TIE fighter. I don't know how old it is. Don't care. That is a chase that's going in the collection. And we're going to take a picture of it. I'm going to hand this to the beautiful spouse to hang on to. I'm going to steal it. That's exciting. I want to do a little nerd dance right now. People's with me, so I can't. I've looked for a chase and I found one a year before I even started filming for YouTube. Never knew there were chases in them. But I think T3 taught me how to look and tell what a chase was. And then General Kenobi finds those things sometimes. And now the man collects has found one. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Zombie older trucks there. Now if we just see that pink Batmobile here, then this is probably gonna be store the hunt. <laughs> I found a chase chasing those things, guys. Finally. Uh, Frank's TV. That's pretty cool. There's some more Jada. It's Fast and the Furious stuff. They got Giles truck back there. Actually got two, two of those and Cammy. I don't know if I've seen Cammy's before. <sighs> Madison's now holding my Chase Star Wars Hot Wheel. I'm starting to instantly regret all the picking on her about those picking up guys in Target. Uh, 
uh not seeing anything else guys i'm gonna wander around we do see anything else we'll film it if not we're gonna go find collectors yeah let's see what we got here in collectors it was assassin's creed i don't is that old or new i don't think i've ever seen this is there a date on it 2023 that's pretty cool and then we got some carded flash gordon i think these are new what do they got here they got gordon there's Ming, Flash, and Ming. So, yeah. Some more Flash Gordon stuff. Defenders of Earth. No, that stuff's old. Oh, they got this guy. He's new. Eliminate all turtles. Uh, I don't know where to put him to get a look at him. Here we go. That's pretty cool. We'll get a picture of him. And then you have these. I'm thinking people are telling me these things are popular right now, but I wish I knew, guys. I didn't start paying attention when my friends talk about those things. That's pretty neat as well. What else we got there? Dragons. Oh, I forgot to get a picture of Batgirl for the thumbnail. I just remember that. We walk back over. Hey, Bugs Bunny is Batman. That's pretty cool. There's another one of those turtle guys. There's this Flash Gordon. Oh, he's not one to open, so I'm not going to force it. Guliana, the Tyranny Terrors. And down here, you got Ash from Evil Dead, another one of these big guys. Um, Colossus of the Swamps. There's like the villains there from Batman 66. That thing's been out for a little bit. What is this? There's an Among Us. And what do we got down here around in this section eight? We got Eevee, it's a big Pokemon. Um, bunch of pops. I think that's gonna do it, guys. If I do find anything else in here, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll see you at the next one. Well, let's see what we can find. We got some clearance here on our usual G.I. Joe stuff. 16 and 22, all lady G's. And Baroness. I don't know if I recorded an intro. It was, we're at Walmart now in York, Pennsylvania. Just in case I didn't film an intro because I don't remember doing it. That's <laughs> sad, isn't it, guys? You forget to film intros. Rock. Not a whole lot. I got Rick Rude. What have we got here? Carrying Cross. And Drew. Edge, Drew, 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 Edge. Drew, Edge. Shinsuke Nakamura. Okay, that was a little anticlimactic got some belts down there nothing too flashy as far as the winged eagle <laughs> oh we got anything up top i need to check up there before i get too far there's all kinds of batman blackest night death storms build a figures up there for multiverse what have we got here um looks like all they're gonna have they got a tie fighter and then a bunch of those Star Wars, nothing worth it. Cassie Lando, bunch of Landos. There's our new little, I got an Ahsoka hanging back here. I saw the shipper with all the other stuff in my way back to this section. I just didn't film it because we've already seen that a bunch of times. Six dollar superpowers. Now some of these build a figures, what do they got here? Kyle Rayner, Raven, Batman, Death Storm, Batman, Nightwing. Robin, Deathstorm, Batman, Nightwing, Batman, Raven, Raven. Okay. And then Black Manta, Aquaman, and Ocean Master. Oh, I fell off the other side. Hopefully nobody's walking around back there. Uh, there's a crushed Gladiator Batman. Older superpowers. Owlman, Robin, a crushed armored Batman from Kingdom Come. Another Owlman. And there is the colored version of Black Adam, not the black and white. There's not one right in front of me. And then we got Kid Flash and Jay Garrett there from the Darkest Night Wave. Raven down here. We're going to scan these. These have been $16 in a lot of places. I mean, I wouldn't mind to get the build Beast Boy Build-A-Figure or that. If I can get them on discounted price. And then our, some stuff over here. Some more superpowers crammed in. Nightwing and John Stewart. Chicanatosaurus. I bet this is clearance. I scan that final battle. 
Lego set there to see what it is. Rainbow Friends. I don't see any of like the little single Among Us guys. There's a whole lot of Mario stacked up there for those Nintendo figs. There's a glow in the dark Among Us. Uh, what do we got here? I uh, picked them up at Target for $6.99 plus five more percent off. I like to have one of these as well. Mario, Donkey Kong, Mario's, and I'm not going to get these down. But it looks like that is all Mario. I want to assume it's that one down here. So for New York, Pennsylvania people, if you're looking for the Mario figure there, give it some time. It's going to be on a dirt cheap clearance <laughs> with that many of them. But, um, actually, is that die cast? What's up here? Oh, one of these split aisle toy sections. What have we got up through here? Looks like the usual hitters. Or something more down 13 to 9. It says Marvel. I'm not sure what that would have been. There's Thor, Captain America, MJ. Got Kujitsu Turtles. Oh, finally seeing these things. Hey, or one of them at least. That's pretty cool. Night Ninja Leo Auto Mutation. Hmm. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. I don't see any of the rest of them. I think there's only one other one. Maybe Raphael or Mikey. I can't remember. There's some of the big turtles from Mutant Mayhem. Where were we? Oh, yeah, we were here. Got these Spider Man figs. We've got Genghis and Movie Turtles. Um, there's pizza tossers back in there, but no more of the auto mutations that I can see right off the bat. But yeah, we'll get a picture of Leo there. It's first time seeing those things. I don't know how much those things are. I'm assuming the same price as the $14.97, the same price as the pizza tossers. And what have we got down here? Our sludge, ratchet. The Lego shipper's been kind of picked over, it looks like. Oh, there's the WrestleMania shipper. Cross our fingers, eyes, and toes, guys. What have we got out here? I don't see any of the Monday Night War figures. Uh, Sammy Zane. Sammy Zane is the peg warmer and a half of that wave. Oh, what else I got back in here? Zane, Zane, Uso, and Uso. Yeah, this thing's already been picked clean. Unfortunately. There's our Lego shipper. <sighs> but let's go find some die cast, see what they got there. Get a picture of the auto mutation here. And if I find anything else in die cast, I'll show it to you. If not, see you in the next one. Have a look here in the die cast, see what they got. Uh, no pink Batmobile that I can see anywhere. So we're striking out on that one again. A bunch of M2 stuff here. Again, I'll probably dig through this off camera. See if I can find anything. A little 56 Beagle, that's kind of nice. Which is a 70 some model. I can't really get them on my mom had. I had to ask my brother, my mom, her first vehicle ever was a baby blue Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, I don't see much there. Batmobiles, who finds another chase? Hmm? Nope, unfortunately, all red tops. Now I'll for a bat tank. No bat tank. Unless there's one. <gasps> nope. That'd been nice. That would have been a cool find to find that little Dark Knight Returns bat tank. Um, not really seeing much down in there. We haven't seen Fast and the Furious stuff. Spider buggy's cool. So let's see what they got in this little. The rest of the section. Now we have the rest of the section. There's Wally Cody back there with that Roadrunner car. Then you got the Batman animated Batwing. Psycho Circus or something like that. New for 2022. 2023. There's a Star Wars themed one and a Jurassic Park themed one. that are chase trucks for 2024. That's kind of cool. It's a Godzilla truck. Haven't seen it in a while. Any 33s? Not yet. And then we'll check the rest of this. That's probably going to do it. 
for this Walmart. Man, oh, there it is. I said, if I Hot Wheels is kind of, I got a big drum here. And all these. Let me dig through those again off camera. I'm not seeing a whole lot there. It's make me think they got a lot. But I think that's going to be it, guys. Let me take a look at these little end caps up here. Here's a Hot Wheels shipper. And then once again, kind of the same old, same old stuff. The Ghostbuster shipper's in front of it. And man, there's a Godzilla and Kong shipper. I've never seen this. Man, look at the overabundance of Godzilla and Kong toys. There's pretty much all of them. So yeah, they got a lot, a lot of Godzilla and Kong merchandise. But that is going to do it for the toys. We're going to go check the collector section. Anything back there, I will show it to you. They got a Slimer. Have they not got a Slimer? Huh, no Slimer. You can tell what the most popular thing here is. <laughs> but anyways, we're going back to collectors now. Anything there, you'll see it. If not, see you the next. I keep forgetting to record intros in these stores. We are here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at another Walmart. So we're heading back towards toys. Let's go see what they got. All right, here we go. This one's a little more stopped. Let's see what we got in here. Taker and Hogan. Hogan. Oh, they got Scott Hall. Oh, we are going to pick up Scott Hall. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> another Scott Hall. And then another Undertaker. This is about the most stocked one I've seen. Let's see. Seamus, Seamus. Seth, Cena, Cena, Roman, Seth. Is there another Seth? It's like I'm playing whack a mole. <laughs> Sami Zayn, Uso. Who is this again? Roxana Perez. Or Roxanne, not Roxana. Uh, Sami Zayn. There is a non chase Paul. Oh, there's another non chase Paul. Let's see what we got in here, guys. Come on, Chase Paul Bear. Chase Paul Bear. There is Chad Gable. Oh. Okay, no Chase Paul Bear, but we do have plenty of record Paul Bears. Plus, we've got Scott Hall. So, that is pretty awesome. I didn't say pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see, all those are those green boxes so yeah we got scott hall undertaker all of them but stone cold now we've been able to find but so far so good for this stop let's get over here and find the action figures and let's see what else we can find let's take a look here in diecast got some loud music in this place no bat tanks no blue tops honestly got a bunch of those star warships up there i already looked no blue tops up there either here we got ecto-1 we got back to the future one I saw back in here, it was kind of interesting. Check that out, Try some Port Jeep, that's pretty cool. We'll get us a picture of that, because we always need thumbnail fodder. Um, one thing they got, guys, I can't get over to look at it right now because there are uh, some other people in the aisle. They got X-Men 97 Wave 2 here at this Walmart. So first time seeing them in a Walmart. 32's on those. And then kind of scrawny up here on the rest of the Hot Wheels. Let's peek over now and see if we can get down the action figure aisle. Just hang with me, people. I don't remember what was that. Nope, can't get down it right now, so I will be right back. Okay, we also got some loud music going on in here. There's Braun Breaker. I'm thinking, didn't he have a chase in this one? I was thinking he did. I can't remember. Rock. Honky Tonk Man, Zamina, a bunch of the Eddie Kings and the stuff it usually has. Uh, what have we got in all of these? If you see the red fin back through there. A couple of TIE Fighters, and what have we got here? Nothing out of the ordinary. Choppers, Ahsoka's, Fennec. Who's that? Red Elk, that's an older one. Finnick again. I haven't seen this one too much. I think that's the older one, but... I'm just happy to find Scott Hall. That's pretty sweet. And I think I got a skull ship. That's pretty cool. We'll check out. They got some bat... Or... Um, I should say bat flick. What's his name? George Clooney. And right up there, you can see Gene Gray of X-Men 97. Just in case it gets gone before I get up there. Because 
This is a pretty popular little owl right now. Um, no new superpowers. I don't see any stacked up top. A couple of robins up there from fighting the frozen. There's Hush. Duke Thomas, all the rest. Duke Thomas, all the rest. So Duke Thomas and a Hush. But yeah, we do have this. They got that. They all have that weird sticker over the barcode. And I've tried to scan these in other stores, and they won't scan as anything. So I don't know if they'll ring up at the register or not. We'll see what they got in Delta figures and stuff down here. Nightwing, Raven. There's another Clooney. Death Storm, Batman. There's a bat. Another Batgirl. How sweet would this be to pull the plaque out? That's not it, but still cool to see it. Some Batgirl now in two spots up here. Just had to come to Pennsylvania to find Batgirl. How about that? Well, they got Robin. They got the whole wave here at least. Because Robin is standing up there looking at us. There's Freeze. Mr. Freeze and her and Batman from Batman and Robin. Let's slide these back in. I may scan these Titans build a figures. Yeah, there we go. Another Batgirl. Went forever not seeing it, now I've seen her twice. Alright, what else we got guys? We know we got some X-Men 97 up here. Right, let's get down here so that we can see with them who we got. Jean Grey we've seen. Oh, there's Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is awesome. I think he is one of the best of that wave. Quite honestly. And Jean. Oh, they got Executioner. I got way too excited by that. That looks cool, guys. I was a big fan of this guy. I think he was in, was it X-Force or X-Factor? I can't remember the comics I saw him in. I've got the old Toy Biz Executioner figure as well. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. X-Men, there's no more figures stuck up top, I can see. Bunch of Mutant Mayhem, don't see any retro turtles anywhere unless they're behind me ratchet following normal stuff here but i think that is going to do it we'll take a look at the video game stuff here in a second anything there we haven't seen before i'll film it if not see you at the next one and here we are at a target in lancaster Palmer, pennsylvania and check this out Madison said the Parmesan farm. What's it? Yeah. We were far away. But we're going to run into this Target and see if our finds continue. Let's check this place out see what they got. Again, we're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Checking out stuff. They got a bunch of monster jams over there. We'll look at in a second to see what they got. I don't see any snarl here. They do have Coronation Starscream. Oh, they got this dude. Iron Spider. Let me get a picture of that before we go. He's a little out of place out here with the Transformers. Man, Hush Superman. I've seen him all over the place up here. Animal Man. Seen a lot of these too. And a couple red tornadoes. Um, they don't have the sale prices marked here, but I assume this stuff is on sale. The way it is at the other place. If not, they'll match the online price. I think Stink Or. That's one of the ones that was showing up at Ross. I don't remember. There's Vinkman, Egon, Vinkman, Egon, Winston, Ray. They got all four of them. Cool. All the frat features, usual complement of smaller scale Marvel figs, Superman 2 pack, at least three of those, but eh, don't really want to look at those. X Men, they got some more. I can't believe how many of these we've seen. They got four of those. Almost every target I've been in, you know, for the Green Goblin to not get very much of a restock, people have had a good chance to get. Doc Ock, at least. Let's get Spider-Man put him back down here. And if you have any of those Transformers to do, guys, I apologize. I don't follow Transformers enough to know. Spider-Man 2, Doc Ock, Spider-Man Legends. I don't know which one of these it goes on. We're going IS. I want to assume that means Iron Spider. Probably means Infinity Saga. The Aquaman Page Puncher laying over in there. The usual stuff here. Uh, we've got over here. Monster High. The Pokemon cards. 
So we got some collector stuff over here, some Tony comics, that Joker. Yeah, a couple of Joker. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yugi -Oh! playing cards. I was hoping to see the Wrath of the Wolfman this trip. We haven't seen them as of yet. I keep making Kelly and Madison stop at all these Walmarts and Targets. They're not going to go anywhere with me anymore. <laughs> nah, they're good travel buddies about this stuff. It's fun having them along with me. I just don't tell them that one in here with me. All right, let's go find some other stuff so that we can find. But yeah, we got some more Hush Superman and some of the, the gold labels here. And a stink ore. So let's go see what else they got. Let's go, folks. Oh, here's a little clearance in cap right off. What we got there? We got some five, or 389, three and three quarter series. I wonder if Yukon. I tell you what, guys. We're probably going to turn the video off. 1019 for a... Kersantin. We're going to turn the video off. I want to see if any of my buddies might need these. We'll be right back. All right, we messaged Yukon Field to see if he might need these. We're going to hang on to him until we see if he replies. I do have a 1019. I'm tempted to get that Kersantin, even though I'm not a Star Wars collector. I think that thing just looks pretty cool. We got some more up here. Uh, Wave Rider, Aquaman. Is Wave Rider on clearance? Let me set these guys down. Uh, if he is, it doesn't have a sticker on him. I have to scan him. I don't know. There's Midnighter. Seen a bunch of those things up here. Um, no tag there either. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> Gotta type button posters. <laughs> Anything else down this side on clearance? Don't look like it, but we're gonna go film a little bit more. See anything else, I'll show it to you guys. See what we got here. This is where I started to look at before I got distracted by clearance end caps and I had to turn the camera off real quick so people get by me. Now this thing is on the app right now for pretty cheap. I actually started to order this. I passed on this guy a couple of times. I just, I don't know guys. I'm down enough rabbit holes that I really wanna go down Godzilla. There's Jimmy Hart's Hulk Hogan's. Oh, cool. They got one of the natural disasters. It says greatest hits. What else is in this one? Oh, man, they got a bunch. I like to find the Roddy Piper. The Roddy Piper's probably the only one in that way of interesting getting. Natural disaster is pretty cool. And they both come with the tag belt, too. Earthquake and Typhoon. Uh, Iron Man Mask. Cage. What have we got here in AEW? They got the Ultimate Warriors there. Thunder Rosa, Darby Allen, Butcher, and the Blade. What else? What else? What else? What else? Mutant Mayhem. Got a bunch of Masterverse there. We'll take a look at. There's Tramp or Mouse Jaw. No other Turtles of Grey Skull that I can see. Well, they don't have any micro galaxy outside of those either. Hmm. Uh, now, shows we'll look at oh, Andra, 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 Andra. So all Andras. Some Godzilla and Kong. This turtle Super Seven's in the wrong spot. Uh, Big Mario, Jurassic Park. What have we got here in the trucks? They got some Series 34. Let's start down here and see what they got. 33s. Those are the mysteries. Don't want those. Alright. No grief trap or soldier of fortune. Mario, Donkey Kongs. What do we got here? Got Luigi, Koopa, and Toad. Minecraft. Another Egon hanging out there. So yeah, so Earthquake's the coolest thing they got here in this hour, in my opinion. But we're going to turn it off, check out some diecast now, see what they got. Got some loud music playing here, so we're going to try to make this quick. We got Screen, Coraline, Coraline. That is another Coraline figure. 
No jack skellington. Oh, they got one thing here. I know some people were looking for. Oh, they got something else I've been looking for. I just saw there too. The tar man. Tony Terry. I think T3 was looking for this guy. I think he found him, but still. Oh man, these things. These were all over Bristol at one point. This one is the one in four chance. That one is kind of a rare one. Not want to pick that up, but it is one of the rare ones according to the back of the card. Now, according to collectors, I don't know. Wednesday Adams. I'm killing Wednesday here. And they got one, two, three, Tar Man. Sam, some more Wednesday. We'll take a picture of Tar Man. Red shirt Casey's a cool find, too. I picked that up quite a while ago. But check this out, guys. Raphael as the Wolf Man. That is pretty sweet. I haven't gotten any of these. I may, I may get this one. Not this one, because the thing's messed up. They got another one back in there. That's pretty cool. We'll definitely get some pictures of that here in a minute. Oh, they got this guy again, too. I like that looks of the black and the white, the gray, I guess, gray and white. It's pretty cool looking on him. Alf, um, no Star Wars figures I put there. I'm still waiting to hear from Yukon to see if he wants those or not. Wolverine. I don't see anything different here in the pops. We have our well, Rikishi. I haven't seen him with the Hurricanes. Yeah, There's stuff I haven't seen. Wrestlers just seem to be following me around anymore. It seems like it's all I seem to come across seeing more as wrestling finds. This is a cool one. The Dream Sequence, Jason. Parts 5 is a underrated Friday the 13th, I think. I mean, yeah, you had Roy Burns dressed up as Jason through most of it. Instead of um, actually Jason Voorhees, it was a guy in a costume, but still pretty cool one. I love this thing. This is one of the cooler NECA figures I've gotten in the last little while. Oh, make four of say your NECA figures, 30 bucks here. What have we got back in here? Hey, Lily Munster. I don't know if I've seen Lily here before or not. It's pretty, I don't want to say pretty cool. It's nifty. It's nifty. More nose for, I love that picture from there with the thing on his head. <laughs> Michael Myers. The thing. What is that one? E.T. Okay. And our plushies. So yeah, kind of a smaller collector section here, but it's got some finds in it. We got Raphael as the wolf man plus we've got uh what else did i found the tar man guy there so and lily monster but we're going to turn the camera off get some pictures and that's going to do it for a well i don't want to say very successful target run so let's do this get our stuff head out of here all righty walmart in parks parksburg i think pennsylvania if i said that name wrong but it lives there i'm very sorry i had to check on my apple maps before i turned the camera on the killer kicked me out right of the door of his place i didn't take time to look we were our sonic sonic up there i thought that might have been some turtle stuff but it's not there's godzilla and kong pizza fire van more godzilla and kong who we got here in turtles we got genghis storage shells a movie raft crane that's pretty cool mondo gecko ray and then genghis frogs rounded out what we got behind us over here Nothing much in lean cap. They do have the WrestleMania shipper. Um, it's way up there on the other end of that thing with the pink rabbit, but no um, Chase Paul Bearer. They do have it pretty well stocked, though, with the stuff I've been seeing on all of them. They have Hulk here for the Monday Night Wars, but no Austin, no Undertaker, and then no um, Scott Hall. What is that? Oh, there. My cool man. Nothing different in any of that. No X-Men 97 here. We saw those in the last place. Be worried. What is this one? There's Rocksteady. And you got Jimmy Woo up there. And somebody else from the Cassie Lane build a figure way, but I can't tell who. There's dinosaurs. Here we go. Multiverse and superpowers. Nightwing. Invisible Jets. We got some of that fighting the Frozen Wave. We're going to see if they've got a Batgirl here. I've seen that in the last couple of places we've been. There's Batwing, Superpowers, all kinds of Batman who laughs. And then back there's an armored Batman from Dark Knight. And a couple of the winter jacketed Batman. Oh, there's Batmobiles. Don't see any skull ships here. 
and Robin, Mr. Freeze, Mr. Freeze, and Mr. Freeze. So no Batman, no Batgirl. But still, we've seen the non-platinum Batgirl a couple times today. That's pretty cool find. See, we never had seen her in a store before. Uh, that thing was $10.19 the last Target I was at. I don't know why I'm tempted to buy that, guys. I'm not a Star Wars collector. I think it's just that craze from the, uh, oh, Birdie, okay, it's not Chase. <laughs> I think it's just the craze of knowing that they're on sale and they're cheaper than they have been, but, you know, trying to get away from that buying stuff just because it's clearanced. Uh, Obi-Wan, Carl Weathers, all those are chrysanthemums. I don't see the Luke Skywalker unless that's it right there. That's chrysanthemum too. I see the name on the side of the box. Oh, we got one here, another Grief Karga. Bunch of Carta Joes up there. That's the Lady J's or Destro's or one of those. This might be a Crimson Guard. Oh no, it's Lady J. My bad. My bad. Got pretty good AEW selection. We'll dig through there in a second. We got here. Who is it? Asuka. There's the Undertaker. Roman. Roman and Bianca Villa Blair. All right, we had to cut it off for a second. We had a wrestling fan come up was talking to me about some of the wrestling figures and stuff. So, but we did find this Undertaker. This still does not scan as anything. Someone told me this was nineteen dollars when they got it at their store, but I think we're going to leave that. There is Brody King, Non Chase, Malachi Black, and Penta Obscuros. They've had that wave here, but they are long since gone. There's another basic Undertaker. The eyes roll back. Oh, there's the Undertaker from Monday Night War. Okay. Britt Baker. I don't know about the face sculpt on that one. One, their head looks too small. Let me just be that jacket. That's one of the biggest misses I've seen on wrestling figures is that Chris Jericho. They do have the winged eagle. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got scrap iron hanging around down there. I would assume he's 29 bucks. I don't see a placard for him. Lady J's, and you got shipwrecks on clearance. What is that? There's Ray Filet hanging out down here. Bowser, 16 bucks. Peach Castle, okay, no. Don't see a peg for Bowser. What have we got over here? Uh, got a piranha plant. We saw that at a, a Raw store the other night. Shy guy, I've seen, I think T3 might have found him in a Ross, I can't remember. Mario, Donkey Kong, and you got Link, Among Us, Series 2 figs, no Series 3. Alrighty, so let's go check us out some uh, diecast now and see what they got. Anything there, you'll see it. If not, we'll see you at the next one. What's up, everybody? We're here in another hotel room wrapping up another toy hunting adventure. End of the week toy hunt, still on the road. As usual, I want to thank everyone for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button to let YouTube know I did a somewhat adequate job. But let's get into it. All the stores you saw me in this hunt video, what took the title, what was the best store, what was Store of the Hunt. Store of the Hunt for this one is another Target store, Target in York, Pennsylvania. And what made it so? Well, all the stuff we found there, including something I've been hunting for for quite a long time in my toy hunting career. But we did find Snarl there, the new Transformers. I've got notes why you see me keep looking to the side here. But they had Snarl. And one thing I saw that I had never seen in store before is the Fighting the Frozen Batgirl. Now, I was kind of hoping when I saw what it was, it might be the Platinum, because I know a lot, of, not a lot of people have found or got that thing. But finally seeing it in the store, you see the other three in abundance all the time. You never see Batgirl, so it's cool to finally see that. And they had Doc Ock, but every Target right now has Doc Ock. That seems to get a restock every other day, you know, as far as getting that thing back on the shelf. But Far Cry from Green Goblin, we never saw that Doc one or two times. But they had X-Men 97 there, you know, first time I seen it in a Target store. Then they already sold them all. They were down to like, I think, one Magneto, one Cyclops. But still cool to see it there in Target. 
And then, of course, they have one thing I've been trying to find. I won't say forever. I don't know how long I've been searching for one of these things. But the Hot Wheels, the little Star Wars ships, as you saw, we finally found a chase. We found the Chase a TIE Fighter. I did post a picture on Instagram. I keep getting a bunch of questions. How do I know it's a chase? Well, you know I bought that thing. But if you look on top of the boxes of these, you see these little symbols here. If it's red, that means it's a common. If it's the light blue color here, that means the chase. I don't know if it's true on all of them, but also on the front, this is usually kind of white where it's got the label on the front. It is the baby blue, same color as the top. But the thing on the top right there will tell you, chase or common. Red common, blue chase. Anyways, found that there, that way, that target and really finding that thing made it store of the hunt. This other stuff was just kind of icing on the cake. But uh, that Jada die cast, that little Guile Street Fighter II truck, that thing's pretty cool. They had it there. Um, over in the collector's section, I had a couple of things I hadn't seen before either. Uh, the Assassin's Creed NECA figure. I had never seen that before. Don't know if that's new, old, or what. It was cool to see it there in store. And then last thing, they have one of the new things going part of Target's next holothon, the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles evil version of Rex. So that was pretty cool to see there. All those things together push Target at York over the top as store of the hunt. Now, let's talk about top three. What were the three coolest things we saw on this hunt? Well, there was a lot. This was kind of hard to pick, to be quite honest with you, but we did go for number three. We're going to go with that Fighting the Frozen Batgirl. Now, I know that's an old wave. It's been out for a while, but again, you may have seen a thousand of them in your areas, guys. I never saw that thing in any of my hunt areas. I had to come to Pennsylvania to find one. I actually found two, as you saw in the video. One of the Walmarts there had one as well, but... um. Again, I've never seen it before. Hoping to find the platinum. We did just find the common ones, the two we saw. That's okay. It's still cool to finally see it in person. And just for the fact of never seeing it before, it gets number three for one of the coolest things I saw in this video. That leads us into uh, number two. What was number two? We actually found two of this guy. So I have ladies number two in the list here. But Monday Night War WWE figure of Scott Hall. You know, that pretty much started the Monday Night War, the whole WCW, NWO, WWE stuff back in the late 90s when he showed up on Monday Nitro. And that figure, I mean, I got it as well. It doesn't look terrible. It's not the best version of Hall that I've ever seen, but still, this is an iconic thing with him there in that denim jean jacket and the denim jeans, you know, the 90s attire there with all that denim on, showing up on WCW and pretty much started the whole thing that kind of led wrestling to where it is today, so... Pretty cool to see that, and he's passed away now, so I'm glad to have a Scott Hall figure to go into collection. But that was number two, and we did see two of those figures. Again, that's why it's number two. Now let's go to number one. And the number one thing of this video is gonna be that TIE Fighter Chase. I'm not even gonna do an intro. You guys know from watching my channel, I look for these things everywhere I go. I've never seen one before in store. I've seen a lot of other people finding these things, so it is cool to finally find that thing in store. And for this video, the Chase TIE Fighter is number one. So now let's go into the haul. You've already had a little preview there of a couple of things that I bought, but let's just show the things I've already showed again. We just talked about this. We did get the, the TIE Fighter here, the Chase, of uh, the uh, Star Wars Hot Wheels. It says Starship Select. Oh, it even says it here. And it's not noticed that Starship Select variant on the bottom of the box. That's pretty cool. But we did pick up the TIE Fighter. You know, for six ninety nine plus, uh, you know, five percent more off of the Target card, I picked up this little uh, Koopa Paratrooper or whatever it is. Um, I got some of these Mario figures; they're pretty cool. But for the low price, I'm going to pass up the chance to get a Koopa there. So we'll put him out there, you know, flying over top Mario, Luigi, or whatever we can get him to fly over top of. Um, you also saw this one already. We did get Mr. Hall. I like to have the Stone Cold Steve Austin there as well on this wave. I can find him. He's the only one I haven't seen yet out of this little Monday Night War wave, but. I did see online there are some more of these coming. I think Harlem Heat and some of the others will be coming out. So it's going to be kind of cool to see that stuff. That was that was the wrestling stars back when I used to watch it back in the late 90s and into the early 2000s there. But I'm trying to get the glare off the packaging there. It's kind of hard with all the screens I got in front of me. But you can see there is Scott Hall. Uh, last two pickups from the Walmart. We did find the X-Men 97 figures. And cool to see those showing up in Walmart already. They were way behind Target uh, the last time. But they seem to be getting them right with them this time. We found the Executioner. So this is pretty much all of this way that I wanted. I've gotten on this out-of-town trip. You know, we got Nightcrawler and Magneto the other day at GameStop. And now we've got Executioner. So maybe a Goblin Queen we find her. I don't know if I get her or not. But again, it's cool to have the Executioner to put with the X-Men 97 Marvel Legends. And then last, and certainly not least, most of it's probably the biggest figure that I bought, 
Uh, I don't really buy a lot of these. I'm kind of partial to Raphael for the Ninja Turtles and very partial to the Wolfman for the Universal Monsters. But we did find the new Raphael as the Wolfman. So we did pick this thing up. We'll try to show it here. But again, this inside flap is going to show you more than what I can show you right now because of all the glare. But figure looks awesome. For the price of the thing, couldn't pass it up. So we did pick up Raphael as the Wolfman. So, here we go. We got top threes. I need to do this out of town stuff more often. I don't talk as much. It's only seven minutes. I usually go 10 or 12 minutes on these things. But that's the toy hunt, guys. End of the week hunt. Hope you enjoyed it. You've seen the haul. We've got a top three. We've got a store of the hunt. So now let's talk about social media and where you can find me. If you do go to the description of this video, the about page on YouTube, or you got that little old colorful splash that flashes on the front of the screen, That'll show you where to find me on Instagram. Look me up on there, should you choose to, and give me a follow. And then last and certainly not least is the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. If you are that first-time viewer, you've come back more than once, you just haven't hit subscribe, go ahead and click subscribe. You know, we passed 2,600 subs. We're cracking down on 2,700 on the road to 3,000 subscribers. So... Help me out if you don't care. Hit that sub button and see what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. End of the week, guys. Head into the hunt weekend. Hope everybody has had a good week. Hope you have a good weekend. And until Monday, see you later.